So, um, my name is Mark Schwerep. I'm a 35 year old visual artist from Einsiedlam in Gozo. And um, I like to, to create art based on what I see around me. Um, at the moment, I'm currently working mostly on um, painting, um, oils and watercolors. But I also like to do other stuff, other types of art. For example, I do a lot of ceramics too. I sometimes do some music, whatever comes to mind. It came at a really early stage, I think. Um, like when I was back in school, I remember I was in year three, year four, maybe. I was always drawing on the desks at school, like my my, <laughs> my notebooks were all comics and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think it's it's always been in me, you know. It's just there's a, I was always expressing myself in one way or another. Did you ever get detention for drawing on the desk? Yeah, <laughs> well, not the first time. Yeah, <laughs> or coming Saturday mornings cleaning the desk that happened as well. Yeah, like when I was young, I started going to the. Um, uh, to the visual and performing art school when I was back in Einsiedlam. I, I took very various courses there. I took airbrush, clay, you name it basically. Um, then uh, um, I went to MCAST to study fine art, but I ended up dropping out. I never finished. Um, yeah, that, that experience has taught me that art can't be learned as such. It has to, be, it has to come from within. I'm really inspired like, by the, the natural world. Like for example, when I have a block, I don't know what to do. I, I go out walking with the dog or somewhere like in nature. And an idea always comes up. I think it never did happen that I didn't go out and I wasn't inspired by, the, by nature. So yeah, nature inspires me a lot. Um, I'm really inspired by uh, indigenous people. Even like, for example, I'm really inspired by the, the Neolithic culture in Malta and how we were really close to nature um, and somehow um, like from what we can see nowadays we're I think we're moving further along from nature so I like to keep that connection through my art um, basically I paint whatever comes to mind I, I the process for me it happens I study from the real world, like sketching outside, and then once I know the basic, I can put the tree I painted from outside, I can put it anywhere, in any context. So yeah, I learn by observing and drawing outside, from outside, from real life, and then basically I can use that in the imagination is just your limit, so basically you can do anything. Your preferred medium? Um... <sighs> it's a tough one. My preferred medium? Um, if I had to pick one, I guess it would be clay. Clay and ceramics. Um, there was a point when I was like really obsessed with making my own clay. I used to go like walking uh, and picking up clay like from Shatlahmar, from Ramla I picked up. And then doing the process to sift it yeah, for any impurities, remove any impurities, then you, then you bear, then you fire it. Uh, yeah, I really like that idea for example, of, of collecting your own clay. Because I think it's it's a good thing when you bring something from nature, you bring it to your studio and then create whatever it is. So yeah, I guess natural clay would be my my favorite medium to work in. Okay. How do you find gossetin clay to work with? Gossetin clay, um, I think it's, it's just as good as any other clay, basically. The, to work it, it's, it's just as easy as UK clay or German clay. The, the, the problem is when you go to firing it, when firing it, because like natural clay, it's, it will explode like at a, at a lower temperature, much lower temperature than processed clay. So you have to be really careful when, when firing it. Um, yeah, I can say if I did a hundred sculptures with, with local clay, easily 90 of them are destroyed now. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's a really long learning curve, but yeah, I'll get there in the end. Gozo has affected, has, has influenced my artwork a lot, a lot, I guess, I'm proud to say. Um, especially, like we're blessed, we have a lot of natural areas around us, like the ocean, and you can go 
far away from people here, basically, just in the, wind, in the wilderness very easily here. And yeah, I, that has helped me out a lot, to be alone, to be in nature, to be quiet, like be receptive to inspiration. That has really helped me. And lately also, um, Gozo is also inspiring me. Like, by the way, it is changing slowly, slowly. Um, I try to give a strong voice to, to nature, When I watch, when I see any work of art, I, I prefer it when I when I give it my own meaning. Like as such, yeah, it's important, I guess, what the artist has in mind. But I think it's also, it's just as important, basically, if not more, what the viewer has to think. And yeah, I give them names. I, I name all my artworks too. But uh, I don't give much importance to names. Like, for example, whenever I do an artwork, for me, the important thing is happening while I'm doing it. Once it's finished, like, it's not that I don't care about it, but the, the process is done, okay? It's just like a, rem a reminder of, what's, of what you did. So basically, art happens for, and that's while you're creating, for me. I was, I was planning to do an exhibition, but unfortunately it got cancelled due to COVID. It was gonna be my second um, solo exhibition. But this will happen eventually, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, so far I did one solo show, it was in, in Valletta, in, in Malta. And I took part in several group exhibitions. Yeah, both here and both and abroad as well. Um, I also went on an artist residency in Peru for a month, which was amazing. I was, I was really, I was studying like I was staying with different tribes and learning their how they took ceramics around me. Like I, I used to go with them, like collect clay and see the, them firing, and it was really a, an amazing experience. Um, yeah, who knows what the future will bring? <laughs> I used to do a lot of clay, much more clay work than than painting. Then when COVID struck, all of a sudden everyone's inside. There's nowhere to go. And I really wanted to focus on oil painting, which is something which I had rarely done. And yeah, I, I did a lot of oil painting, a lot of practice, and yeah, I can see my skills going up, like, yeah. So I guess that's a positive of COVID. What superpower would you have and why? <laughs> <laughs> what superpower would I have? Um, uh, I don't know, <laughs> to, I guess to, to be able to stop time. Okay. Like stop time, rewind time, fast forward time, slow motion time. Okay. Being in control of time would be, <laughs> would be nice, yeah. Uh, <laughs> or like if you're really enjoying yourself, you can put it in slow mo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are the things I think about. <laughs> <laughs> One last question. What makes you happy? Um, what makes me happy? Other people being happy makes me happy. So, yeah, if, I, if there's less suffering in the world, I'd be, I'd be happier, much happier. I think that's what really makes me happy.